Hello everyone. Today I have some empties and half empties to share with you. Um, these are from the last week. Um, I don't have a whole lot so it shouldn't take too long but I mean you guys know how it goes with me. I'll start with the half empties because I only have a couple. Um, the first one is Beach Bum from Hayden Row. This is a souffle that I chopped up. It's the beach scent from Bobby Brown. It's, it's beach, right? Beach or beaches? Beach, I think. <laughs> um, I love this scent. Mm, yeah, it just smells like um, sunscreen and sunshine. I don't know. I love the scent from all the vendors in all the things. Um, so that was pretty strong, like an eight out of 10. And I would probably repurchase, um, probably from Hayden Row or from anyone else that I see offer it because I just love that scent. Um, I did want to mention that I ran out of tea lights. So we have a candle back here today. This is um, Sparkler Cupcakes from Huntington Home from Aldi. It reminds me of cupcakes at Tiffany's a little bit. It's like a moist cupcake scent to me. But these are like $3.99 or something. I think they're $3.99. And they're not like the strongest performers, but they burn really cleanly. Um, yeah, they always they burn really well they're just not like incredibly strong <clears throat> anyway um the next half empty i have is camp crystal lake from l3 waxy wonders this is sea kelp driftwood sea moss and leaves i don't know if this is leaves type like bath and body works or if it's um like another leaves note mm, it might be leaves I'm not sure but this smells really good there's definitely like salty sea air in here so I don't know if that's the sea kelp or the sea moss or what but I definitely smell salty sea air and I think it is leaves type um, but it's like an aquatic earthy leaves scent I really like it I have two of these pieces left in this puppy pack but I would repurchase this I don't know that I would grab a loaf of it but I would repurchase it again preferably in buns because I prefer buns from L3 all right then I have one from super tarts in mistletoe kisses this is mistletoe clean cotton and crisp white tea I really like this scent it's so nice <laughs> um definitely clean cotton and crisp white tea it's very crisp mm, and fresh and i love it um i don't know about the mistletoe i think that just gives it like a tiny like the tiniest hint of green because i it's not like an overly green scent um i don't know if it's just adding more of a freshness or a crispness there's there is maybe like I said the tiniest hint of green in here mm, but it's just I love this I would love to have this in a perfume it just smells so crisp and clean this clam is like the squishiest I've had this for a while um, so I decided to melt it I was kind of hoarding oh, hoarding hoarding it because I love the scent so much um, but this was like a 7 out of 10 I will say that typically in my kitchen where I melted this I have three scentsy warmers and I typically do one cube in each um, but one of my bulbs burnt out I have some more on the way but I don't have any on hand so I only did two cubes in the kitchen I do feel like it would have been stronger with that third warmer but it was strong nonetheless I will repurchase this um, and I don't know if I would get this in a 
BAM. I do like it a lot, but I don't know that I need a BAM of it. I would at least repurchase a clam of this. If you haven't tried this and you like really crisp, clean scents, give this a try. I mean, it is laundry. It has that clean cotton, but to me, it's not so much laundry as it is just a, a clean scent. If that makes any sense, it probably doesn't, but really like that. I don't know if I said how the strength was on Camp Crystal Lake from L3, but that was great too. That um, performs really well. Um, okay, and then the last half empty I have, I told you it's not a whole lot. Um, this is Blue Agave and Melon from Scentsy. I do like this, but it won't be a repurchase. Well, this clam is like super oily. Oh, I'm really not liking it on cold right now. Mm, no. Um, but it was okay in the warmers. It, I don't do a lot of melon scents, but it wasn't like too much melon, but I still, I still don't need to repurchase it. It was just okay. Um, liked it, didn't love it. Don't need any more of it. It was pretty strong, like a seven out of 10. Did I do this in my kitchen or my living room? I think I did this one in the kitchen. Yeah, I did this one in the kitchen. Um, and it was like a seven out of 10, but yeah, like I said, I don't need to repurchase that. Okay, so then on to the empties. Um, I'll just start with the Scentsy since I just did that Scentsy. Um, while I had that one going in the kitchen, I had these two going in the living room together. This is Fiji Flower and um, Light Side of the Force from the Super Tar or Super Tar Star Wars collection. Um, I did these together just to finish them up. I thought they would be nice together. This is kind of like a fresh, semi-fruity floral. Yeah, this Fiji flower is really nice. I don't know that I need more of it, but it is really nice. And then this is like a fresh, um, kind of clean, I think there might be a citrus in here. Mm, it's it's a little green. It's like a fresh green clean scent But anyway, these two are really nice together. I like them separately also um, I kind of wish I had stuck this one in my club I don't know if it's still available to put in a club, but it is really nice and it's pretty strong for me This one was pretty strong also together. These were about an 8 out of 10 in my living room warmers and it was a really nice blend. But like I said, I also just really like those two by themselves. I just don't know that I need more Fiji flower, although it is really nice. Okay. Um, then I warmed these two together. Moana Spirit of Matanui and Strawberry Basil um, from the Life's a Garden collection. I had like two pieces of the strawberry basil left and I just wanted to finish them up. So I stuck them in with the Moana scent and this was okay. Um, yeah, the strawberry basil, the more that it has sat in my house, the less I like it. It's, it's turning into that like chapsticky strawberry that I really don't like. When I first smelled it, I did like it, um, but it definitely changed a bit. And I also got that chapstick tone while it was melting. Um, and I don't get like any basil from this. I don't really get a green note. Don't get any kind of like herbal note. Just, it's just that strawberry. And now it is just a chapstick strawberry. So. Not a repurchase. Glad I didn't stick this in my club. It's nothing that I need to get more of. Um, and then Moana. Also, I don't think I need to pick up any more of this one. It smells good. It smells great, actually. It just has a melon in here that I don't like. Um, I don't know what the melon is. 
I don't, I don't think it's watermelon. I don't know. I But it's definitely a melon, and I'm not a fan. So don't need to repurchase, although this one was pretty strong. Also, um, together they were like a 7 out of 10 in the kitchen. But yeah, I don't need to repurchase either of those. Um, while those were going, I had pineapple mint melting in the living room, and this is one that I don't need any more of. I did the whole clam in my living room, and it was maybe a 6 out of 10. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I've mentioned many times that the air conditioner and the fans and everything are, like, messing with my scent throw. Everything is getting pulled out. Um, I feel like if you're on my front porch, you can smell everything, <laughs> but in the house, it's just not like some scents just aren't working at all. But aside from that, I just don't like the scent. Um, like I was willing to give it a chance when I got it. I usually don't do pineapple, but it has that mint. So I thought maybe I could do it. And I mean, it smells fine. It's just not, I just don't like pineapple in wax. So like I said, this one I didn't get much of a throw from, although I did do the whole cube in my living room, or the whole clam in my living room. I did two cubes in each of my warmers, um, but yep, not a repurchase for me. Um, okay, this one, Sand Sweat. This is one that I love. A lot of people say this is light for them, I get pretty good throw from it. This was like a 7 out of 10. I absolutely love this scent. This one will need to go in my club because I do think this is discontinuing at the end of this month. Um, the new catalog season starts August 1st, so a lot of the spring-summer scents are leaving, and I believe this is one of them. And I don't know if it'll come back because I don't think it was super popular. Mm, but I just love it, so I'm going to need to stick this in my club. Oh my goodness, it's so... I, I love this scent. To me, it's very unique. Um, I get like this citrusy lemon, but mostly I get what to me smells like an overcast day at the beach, like wet, cold sand with like that sea breeze not salty sea air but like actual sea breeze um yeah that's what I get from it I think I forget what the notes are I think it is like lemon sandstone and some kind of breeze or driftwood or something mm, but it's just it's so good to me it's that's what it smells like an overcast day at the beach and um like I said, I get good performance from this no matter what room I put it in. So that will go in my club, at least for a little while. Then I melted through a clam of pink sugarberry mint. I have a lot of Scentsy this time because I just kind of went into my drawer and pulled out random scents um, just to get some clams out of my drawer because I have so much. I have more on the way. I I need to get rid of some. So I melted through this clam of pink sugarberry mint. I do really like the scent and every time I melt it, I like it more. Um, when it, when I first got it and smelled it, I was like, eh, I don't know. It's not really my kind of thing. Melted it the first time, liked it way more than I thought I would. And then every time I've melted it since then, I just like it more and more. And I, <clears throat> for sure get the mint in here I know a lot of people don't get mint um, I definitely get the mint it's definitely like that pink berry like a sugary pink berry obviously it's pink sugar berry mint <laughs> but I don't I don't want to say that it's strawberry to me it doesn't smell like strawberry maybe raspberry like a very sugary raspberry with mint um 
and I'm not even sure that I can say what mint it is like peppermint spearmint I don't know maybe wintergreen I, I really don't know but I like it I feel like it's a year-round melt but for me it's definitely um, one that I like during the summer but it, I, I really don't feel like it has like a seasonal feel to it um, but yeah that's and this was like so strong I had this in my bedroom and I could smell it everywhere <laughs> this is like 10 out of 10 strong um, so I don't think I have that in my club I think I might have a few more clams of it I'm not sure and I'm not sure if you can still add it to your club I don't know I might have to check because I do really like that but I have so much in my club okay um, the next one I melted through is stargazing this is this month's scent of the month um, for July forget what the notes are on this but to me this smells like oh oh this smells really nice there's definitely sandalwood in here mmm I really like that this almost oh I don't know I'm getting like it must be the sandalwood but I'm almost smelling it right now I'm almost getting like an incense vibe it's very like cozy it must just be that sandalwood but this reminds me of fuzzy blanket if you've ever smelled that scent from Scentsy this reminds me of that but I'm trying to decide which one I like better because I think I have fuzzy blanket in my club but if I like this one better I can take fuzzy blanket out I don't know um Fuzzy Blanket is like lavender, honeysuckle, and sandalwood, I think. So maybe it's just the sandalwood, because I don't think this has lavender. But I think it does have like white florals. I forget. It smells great though. And I think this was in um, last week's video also, um, because I did melt some before. I wanted to melt it again because I didn't really pay attention to it the first time and this is really nice this was like an 8 out of 10 on strength um, and it just smells so comforting and cozy it really smells like a warm blanket um, I love it so still not sure if I need to put it in my club because I think I need to melt some fuzzy blanket and then determine but um, this is the last Scentsy clam that I got through and it's mandarin and mango nectar I know a lot of people like this one mm, I think it's just not for me because it, it does smell good I'm just like not really into it oh I had fragrance oils on my finger and just touched my eye and now my eye is burning I'm sorry okay mm, yeah I don't this is kind of like like I get mandarin and mango um see there's like so many do you see the oils on my finger <laughs> Ugh. um anyway this is like watery to me like a like definitely like a watery mandarin mango like maybe like a mandarin mango juice um yeah it's definitely like juicy to me and it does smell good it's just not for me and I get that like slight tinge of mothball that I've been getting in so many scentsy scents lately I don't know if this I, I I'm thinking it's the clam I don't know if it's the clam or if it's like the dye or what it is but I get this like slight mothball scent in so many new scentsy scents and I don't understand it but it for sure goes away on warm so that's not anything to worry about but it's just kind of weird 
Um, but yeah, this won't be a repurchase. I can see why people like it, but for me it was just okay. Um, I didn't get like a really great throw from that either. Again, I had it melting in my living room and it may have just got sucked outside, so take that with a grain of salt. Okay. Um, I have one clam from the bathing garden. This is green with envy. I forget what the notes are on this, but I, I don't really like it. Mm -mm. Um, I don't know. It's not, it's almost like a sour apple scent to me like a green apple or like a sour apple but like watered down I don't know this one's really hard for me to describe but I didn't like it I won't repurchase um, it was about a five or six out of ten on strength I mean probably more like a six I could smell it pretty well it just didn't like you know it wasn't like beast mode but I won't repurchase that I just don't like the scent I I don't know what it is I just don't I don't enjoy it okay um the next one oh let me try not to throw it the next one is Texas Chainsaw from Super Tarts. This is Caramel Apple, Hot Maple Toddy, and French Baguette. I love French Baguette. I love like all of Super Tarts French Baguette scents. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. And I think I like forgot about this. I think I melted it once and then I put it away and I wasn't like super impressed by it. But this time... It was really good. It kind of reminded me of... It reminded me of like... Ego mixed with... Um, what's it called? Mr. Hyde, I think. Yeah, Ego and Mr. Hyde. So Ego is Mac Apple and French Baguette. And then Mr. Hyde is like... Um, French Baguette some kind of cinnamon, wild berry mousse, and something else. I don't think it's Mac Apple. Maybe Mac Apple? I don't know. But this reminded me of those two blended together. Mm, this was really nice. It was like a cinnamon apple bread. And I know it doesn't say cinnamon. I think there might there's probably cinnamon in the hot maple toddy yeah I think so but yeah it smells like a warm cinnamon apple bread definitely not like red hot cinnamon like a bakery warm cinnamon sugar kind of cinnamon um, and it's not like overly caramel to me I just get it's it's definitely the apple like a caramel apple um, but more so apple. Anyway, I've been talking about this way too long. I did really like that. Um, I would probably repurchase a clam. I don't know that I need a bam or anything, but I would repurchase. And it was like a 9 out of 10 in my Scentsy Warmer. So, okay, just a few bags. This one is Cozumel from L3 Waxy Wonders. This is Mango, Banana, Seagrass, Raspberry, Guava. So this was definitely my mystery box because if I had seen this available, I would have never purchased it. <laughs> Those are just not notes that speak to me. Um, no, I can't even like smell it in the bag now, but I did not mind this. I actually kind of liked it. Um, it was a fruity scent, but this time when I melt, I did melt this before. This time when I melted it, I just kept thinking this would be so nice with like a fall bakery or a fall spice or something fall, like leaves maybe, 
to me this smelled like fall fruity um like a chutney or I don't know like a warm fruity it wasn't super summery to me or like tropical even though like mango banana guava you know that sounds tropical to me um this time it definitely felt more fall and I just kept thinking this would be so nice with like I don't know something <laughs> something fall a fall bakery a fall spice definitely like um clove cinnamon nutmeg i feel like they would be so good in here um but that may be just me but it may be something that i need to try at some point so while i wouldn't repurchase this to melt it on its own i would repurchase it to blend or i would repurchase it in a blend with more fall centric scents um yeah so good but i definitely want to try it with fall blends so it was like an 8 out of 10 on warm and like i said i will repurchase it to blend i feel like i just went round and round while i was talking about that okay the next one is rocket pop from hayden row um this is obviously like a fruity popsicle kind of scent um it was okay i melted this in my bathroom it was just okay for me. I don't need to repurchase it. I I don't know. I would like more fizzy or more lime in here. To me, it just kind of smelled like Kool-Aid, like or like um Hawaiian punch or something. I don't know. It's it's not my kind of scent and I would like this a lot more if it had like Fizzy pop. I don't know what the notes are. There may be like some kind of fizzy in here, but I don't get much. I don't know. Something more fizzy in here would make this more enjoyable for me. Um, but it was like a 6 out of 10 in my bathroom warmer. Okay, and then I just have two little bags here from K. Um, I have rose quartz. This is like a grapefruit situation yeah it was pretty nice and I would maybe repurchase this definitely wasn't like a cat pee kind of grapefruit yeah really nice I forget what the other notes are but the grapefruit in here is good and this did pretty well in my bathroom 7 out of 10 and I would maybe repurchase this or I would maybe throw this in a blend because I feel like it's a, a really good blender. Um, and then the last thing I emptied is Black Sea from K. This was a sample that I got with my order. And Black Sea is really nice. Mm, I love this so, so much. I think I melted this in my tea light warmer yeah I did oh what did I have going I had something else going in the kitchen while I had this in oh that's what it was well anyway I love black sea um, I would repurchase this I do want to do some blends with this and this was like a 9 out of 10 of my tea light warmer I had this going um, at the same time that I had beach bum from Hayden Row, and this I loved together. This was so nice. Um, I feel like I would like to do a blend with these and well with beach, um, the beach type scent. I would like to do a black sea and beach blend with something else to kind of meld them together. Um, I don't know what that third scent will be, but I want to think about it. Um, but this, this was really nice together. Um, really enjoyed that. So yeah, that is everything I melted through this week. 
Oh, I just had to smell that black sea again. Um, <clears throat> so like I said, not a ton of stuff. I don't really know why, but I mean, I did get a good bit of Scentsy Clams empty this week, so sorry, my camera shut off. Anyway, I was saying I'm happy about getting through some Scentsy Clams this week. Um, I'll probably continue getting through some next week, but I also want to melt more of my vendor wax because it got a little neglected last week. Um, yeah, so that's everything. Um, let me know if you guys have tried any of these scents and what you think. And thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.